Hi guys, today we're going to make one of these really simple adjustable bracelets with a donut shape. So we're using either a donut or a washer and they have a little knot at the back that makes it adjustable. So I've just used a little hand stamped washer here. And so that's what we're going to use today, but you can use the donut crystals as well. So I've got my wax twine here, it's just a one millimeter wax twine and we're going to start with two lengths of 20 inches each. I'll just measure those two out. Then we start with just folding them in half and finding the middle. And then we just poke that middle down inside the washer. And then put your tails down the little loop there that you've created and then do the same with the other side. So just poking that middle down and bending it around so that you can poke your tails down that little loop. So pulling those two tight and there's your little washer attached to the front of your bracelet. Okay so that's that part of it. Now we just need to make the adjustable knot at the back. So we'll start by measuring off about 15 inches of your waxed twine again. So to do this, we just lay our bracelet down um, on the side so that we can have the back part of the bracelet where the adjustable knot is going to be. So I just cross that over. And then this part here is where you're going to make your, your knot. So just grab your piece of twine that you cut, the 15 inch one, and place it under the bracelet there. Okay, so we start off with the left side over the right. So it goes over the top and then the right side goes under and out the left hand side loop. So I'll just show you that again. So we alternate each stitch as well. So if you started with the left one, then the next one is the right. So we just put that over the top and then this one goes underneath and up the hole on the other side. Okay, so just alternating that stitch or else you're gonna get a twisted knot, which is quite, quite cool on some things, but this one here, we want a flat one. So starting on the left this time, goes over the top and then the other one goes under. And then this one's starting on the right, over the top, and then this one goes under and up the loop. And so you're pulling them tight, but not really, really tight, so just loose tight, enough that they'll sit flat and in place. But you don't want it making your bracelet not be able to slide properly. So just remember to alternate that stitch the whole way down. So you can sort of just go as far down as you like to. I normally do about 10 stitches, but it actually depends on how long your twine is and how much of a knot you want there. So when you're happy with the length of your knot, I just pull that tight and then cut the little ends off. And then because it's wax twine, I just singe it with a lighter there. Sometimes you can see when you've singed it with a lighter that it's actually melted and sealed. If that hasn't happened, then just put a dob of glue on there as well inside and just make sure that it's only on the knot part and not on your adjustable sliding part. But make sure that your knot can still slide. Okay, so now you wanna just pull those parts nice and tight so that they all have tension on them. So that now you can tie a little knot at the bottom. So just pull your bracelet out so it's definitely going to be big enough to fit over your wrist. And then just tie a knot on each side. About the same length on each side. And then I just cut the little ends off. And there's your bracelet, and it should be adjustable. There's your little knot there, so you can loosen it or tighten it. And you've got your little washer on the front. Nice and simple. 